Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. This is Mike, and uh, happy Halloween. It is now officially the eve of All Hallows, so I hope that everybody is celebrating or getting ready to celebrate uh, and staying safe, because it's a little crazy out there. It's probably best to stay home and uh, eat bad food and, and uh, watch horror films, right? Good time. So I'm here for another chapter in the series of a film for each year of my life. And now we're up to the year 1971. And I've chosen a Hammer Horror film from Shout Factory. Dr. Jekyll and Sister Hyde. Very cool movie that I never saw until fairly recently. Um, a couple of months ago I sent away for it. And uh, mainly because I wanted to see Martine Beswick. I uh, never really knew much about her. I've seen a lot of pictures of her. She's very strikingly beautiful. And I saw the Bond films she was in way back in the 60s. And, uh, but I've never really experienced her talent as an actress. So I, w I wanted to uh, see this. And she's wonderful. She's really incredible. And, <clears throat> okay, so what is all this about? Let me read the, the plot on the back here. Because really, th there have been so many adaptations of the Robert Louis Stevenson novel and they all kind of exploit the same idea where Doctor is experimenting on himself. He transforms into something or other. And in this case, he actually becomes a woman, which is freaky, but uh, done very well. So here's the plot line, okay? In Victorian London, Doctor, young Dr. Jekyll attempts to create an elixir of life using female hormones stolen from the glands of fresh corpses. It's always best when they're fresh, don't you think? But when Jekyll, Jekyll drinks the experimental potion himself, he transforms into a beautiful woman with an unstoppable taste for mayhem. Yeah, mayhem, blood, murder. Can both fiendish personalities share a rampage of ghastly murder and perverse desire? Or, or will the ultimate battle of the sexes rage within? Okay, so that's pretty much the plot. But the way it's done is is uh, very creative, and I would say very restrained, considering the the storyline, which was pretty freaky for 1971. It, it seemed like it would be better made in this day and age when there's so much gender confusion, experimentation, craziness, in my opinion, going on. That's another video. Uh, anyway, I, I just think this is a very good movie. Um, let's see, the Dr. Jekyll part is played by an actor named Ralph Bates. Ralph Bates, who did make a lot of films. He died very young at the age of 51. But he was uh, in several Hammer films. And I guess, according to some of the information on this, on the uh, extra features, he was being groomed as maybe the next Christopher Lee or Peter Cushing. And he was in films like Taste the Blood of Dracula, Horror of Frankenstein, Lust for a Vampire, and several others. But like I said, he died very young. Uh, he's very good in this. And the strange thing is that he and Martin Beswick, I wish there were better pictures of him here, but they actually resemble each other. You can see that. There's Ralph on the left and beautiful Martine in that small picture there. She's really something. And the, the transformation scenes where uh, the woman is, she's born right she's never existed before she's a brand new human being and it's necessary for her to become familiar with her body and as martin beswick talks about in a really terrific interview on this disc um, she understood that it was necessary to show part of her body and her exploring herself but she draw she drew the line at having excessive nudity even though they tried, they tried to make her do it, and she, she talked about the, the uh, tendency at Hammer during this time to have more nudity in their films, and she said it was a downfall of Hammer. She didn't go into great detail, but that, that's an interesting uh, viewpoint. And uh, anyway, it's just a very well done film, and the Shout Factory release, their usual good work, nice artwork, and we have a reversible cover okay there's a poster for the film dr jekyll and sister hyde it's interesting because 
Um, Dr. Jekyll is living in this apartment building where he has his laboratory, and upstairs there is a, a, a woman living with her adult son and daughter, and the daughter becomes attracted to Dr. Jekyll, right? And he's attracted to her. But the, the brother, when he sees the transformed Dr. Jekyll, who is being called Mrs. Hyde, right? She's, she's supposed to be, he said, this is my sister. She's a widow, and she's staying with me. And uh, anyway, the brother becomes attracted to Mrs. Hyde. So it's, in, in a way, it is uh, slightly comical in some scenes. But um, yeah, it, it's acted very well by Ralph Bates and Martin Beswick, showing the ambiguity and the struggle and uh, the woman who is determined to win. And it's just, it's just done very well. I was surprised, quite frankly. There's a little bit of violence in the film, which is not surprising. It is Hammer, after all. And a little blood hitting the walls and all that sort of thing. It's not, it's not overdone. And um, one thing that's interesting about the way they filmed it, it, it's all done on studio sets. It's very claustrophobic, really. The sets are nice, but um, it, it's not expanded into you know, street scenes and countryside and all that. Everything is very closed in, which in a way I think works, considering that this man is trapped in this uh, life he's created for himself, trapped in this, uh, this transformation uh, quagmire that he, he got himself into and now he can't stop. And it's just, I think it works very well. Two commentaries on this disc. One is by, let's see, a film historian, an author called Bruce Hallenbeck, which I have not listened to. But there's also another one with, um, let's see, with uh, Martin Beswick and the director Roy Ward Baker. And I did listen to that. And that's really interesting. As I said, terrific interview with Martin Beswick. She's just delightful. And I'd like to see more and more of her work. And uh, some other things, documentaries, um, behind the scenes and all that, talking about the film. Theatrical trailer, radio spots, all the usual cool stuff. And uh, anyway, that's my movie for 1971. And once again, happy Halloween. Uh, I will be back eventually with 1972. I think we'll see how it goes, folks. Good night.